Okay, let's take a look at MadCam and see how to control the depth when creating a Z-level finishing tool path. Uh, if we select the model, MadCam will create the default box. We can select the 6mm ball and cutter and if we want to cut this uh, outside this model we need to first resize the box by clicking on model plus cutter radius then it will enlarge the box so the cutter will reach on the outside of the model so if we create a Z level finishing on this we can see that the toolpath will stop at the bottom of the box then we can lower the uh, box uh, by adding for example minus 10 millimeter and click on the raise Z bottom click OK now we can see that the box will go 10 millimeter below the model but it's also important to check the clipping planes and MadCam has uh, clipping planes that will uh, control the height and the depth of the tool path when working in 3D. Now we can see that the uh, bottom clipping plane uh, is placed uh, where the default box was created so we need to lower the bottom clipping plane and we can do that by just moving the plane in Rhino or we can type in it from the dialog. Okay then uh, we can recalculate the Z level finishing tool path. And now we can see it will go all the way down to the bottom of the box and we can also reduce the height of the tool path if we like by just moving the top clipping plane down and recalculate the tool path and now we can see that the Z level finishing tool path is created in between the top and the bottom clipping plane thank you very much